Today on the North American Journeyman, it's Arediano back-to-back. In fact, we play them four out of the next five games. And you're going to get to see them all. So, Central American Cup time. Final against the Herediano. We're still undefeated. We left off here. It's been going well. 4-1 winning at San Carlos. 4-0 against Sporting. Then three league draws in a row, including against Saprissa, which was fair. This one, we gave away a late penalty. And to Scorpiones, we just weren't playing that well. So I decided to tweak the tactic just a little bit. This is also the cup semifinal right here where we beat Herediano, came back from down 2-1 to one to win that one, and then beat them 3-0 and finished out the opening stage. 2-0 over Santos, undefeated, 16 wins, 6 draws, record points total, record goals total. And what does that mean? Well, the board's disappointed. that we're currently only on course to reach the semifinal. This is kind of buggy, because it's a, you know, created database sort of thing. So I think that's just kind of, I mean, honestly, if we don't win the league, we might get fired, even though, look at this. We lost the first game, we haven't lost since. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Today, Arrediano, we're here for the Central American Cup. We have the final first round like today. And then we'll play the opening stage semifinal first round leg against those same boys because they finished fourth. So home in the first leg. We'll go into the tactical meeting. Fortunately, there's some players that just came back from international duty. So they're a bit tired, like Neves, who is just crushing it, the Mozambican, just an absolute stalwart in the midfield. He's such a beast, but he's like absolutely dead. So he's going to sit. Salazar has been off form a little bit. Torres has been doing pretty good on the left wing. He is relatively familiar with it. Not, not super familiar yet, but he's been doing good. Uh, we normally play Gonzalez as kind of the backup, but he's a pretty solid youngster. We normally play Suarez there, but he's a bit tired from playing for Costa Rica. Toch picked up a little tiny two-day bruise injury thing, so we're just going to play him. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Uh, Steven Jones is going to come in for this one because he's the more fit, the most fit team we have, basically, because our schedule is mad with how many games we have coming up. We got This is the cup final against Municipal Grecia. But there's just, like, we play these five games into in a week and a half. So two days off. And then in between, you know, the final, we have two games when they only have one. Because they're not playing in the final. Because we beat them. But anyways. Ah oh. Excuse me, try and remember to cut that out. Anyways, we're on to the final. We had the team talk, they liked it. It was about form, so yeah, we'll say we're in a good run of form. Keep it going. I've had words with Salazar about his bad form. Played some pretty close games with these guys, but today is the day. that we go out and make this happen. Who's this youngster they have? Hajib, an Iranian center back who looks pretty good. I don't think I've seen him before. We know about Among. Blanco I've been taking a look at. They're number 10. He's pretty decent. Youngster, 20 years old. Yeah. The rivalry. Rivalry renewed. Two of the big boys in Costa Rica squaring off in the Central American Cup final. Saprissa won the last two iterations of this competition. And Arediano knocked them out, so... 
mean, we're a team on form right now, but hopefully... What happened here? Tight calf for Gonzalez. Probably playing through it, to be honest. Maybe just a halftime. Here we go. Defensive corner. Torres. They cross it in. Far post. It's over the crossbar, though. We usually have sort of a slow start against these guys, but hopefully that doesn't mean we fall behind, especially at home. Maria with the driving run here. Loses it, though. They play it forward through Blanco, who it goes off his back. Yara, the 16-year-old, who's starting. Torres is in. Shoot it. Take a shot, man. Got in the perfect position and then just, for whatever reason, took an extra touch. It's on a 6.4. Yeah, that's a giant missed opportunity. So, come on. Here we go. Attacking free kick. Playing it short. Through Gonzo. Playing out wide. To Mario. What can he do here? Doesn't usually score goals. That might be his first goal of the season. Second of the season for Mario. He's not a goal scorer. He's the assist man on the right wing. But with that one, cuts inside. Across, across the goalkeeper's face. And we are up 1-0. Beautiful for Mario. Nice little cut. Boom. Gets him moving away. Catches him near post. 1-0. Liga. Let's build on this. Let's go. Over the top to Torres. We do something better here. Plays it to David. Square ball to anybody. Mario's there. Back to Toch. Takes a little touch off the crossbar. Torres couldn't dribble it by. Toch. Hasn't been called up for the U.S. So he was here in training, and that's why he got hurt. Salazar tries to rip one. Falls to Torres, though. Takes a shot. And scores it. It's 2 nothing. Sorry if you hear some construction banging going on. It's happening next door, so I apologize for that. That might be happening throughout. Maybe even the next couple episodes, to be honest. Hopefully it's not too annoying. But this is nice from Torres. Looks like it went off cruise there. But that should up his rating a little bit. All right, Alvarez is on an injury now. Looks like a pretty bad one. Oh, man. Well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and make the two changes now because he looks dead. So Penuelas is coming in. And we'll go ahead and bring in Suarez. First half, substitutions. It's more annoying because we have five games in a week and a half. And Toch just goes down injured. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess oh, I really don't want to play Neves this early because he's kind of dead. But we're going to do it. And that's, that's two stoppages right there. Wow, it happened a minute and a half after I made the change. And it's Toch, too. Don't. Let it happen. Don't let it all come crashing down now. I mean, we're dominant in the game. Can we add a third before halftime? It'd be pretty good. Take the insurance. Yara looking for the ball. Patient. He's very patient on the ball. Yara for a 16-year-old. Doesn't ever panic. Here we go. Building out of the back a little bit. Neves normally plays that deep line playmaker. I might switch those guys at halftime. Yara kind of plays both for me. There, ball through to Salazar. Finishes it. He does. 3 nothing. Good. Good stuff here.
Here we go. Central American Cup wrapped up in the first half. Not so fast. Let's let's not get too carried away. The injuries, though, it's got me bothered. All right, defensive corner, lofted, header up, cruises there, rips it into the back of the net. I feel like somebody could have closed that down a little bit better. But it is 3-1. to one. Looks like they've got definitely the better start here in the second half. I mean, look, all the numbers in the box. How did that find its way through everybody? Solis just sat down on it. No. No. Don't do it to me. I kind of want to take Neves out. We're winning crosses, okay. Manuel Davids on a yellow. Yeah, nobody's picked up a yellow, so that's good for the second leg. We might actually make that as our last chance. If we go down a man here, I'm going to be livid. So we're going to bring in Hall. And... Yeah, maybe Yael Lopez is right back. Of course, they score on their only shot on target. Not too many highlights here in the second half. Three to two would be harsh if they score here. Let's see if we can grab one, though. Header down Gonzalez. Good. Salazar holds it in. Plays it forward. Mario picks it up, drives in, takes a shot, deflected. I don't I don't hate it, but I don't really like it either. We're gonna do this. Maintain that possession a little bit. We don't need to worry about countering. Nothing I can say really, up two goals. Go ahead and press him. Late fourth. Near post, the goalkeeper's not in a good spot. Salazar. Mario, can he find somebody? Lopez, play it to the right. Good. Torres, what can you do? Torres drives in, goes down. No. Still have a chance here for something. Lopez skips by, crosses one in. Mario, no. Suarez, back to Mario. Yara, the 16-year-old, hits it. It's 4-1. to one. David Yara, I call him Yara, maybe it's Jara, Jara, Hara, I don't know, I call him Yara. Beautiful, 4-1, to one, right at the death, totally deflating goal for Rediano, and we are one leg away from... Lifting the Central American Cup and getting a first round bye in the Champions Cup. Which with this team, you know, we might have a chance. Yo, know, good win. Nice job. Who played great? Yara. He had a mistake. I don't care. Good job. He improved. That's what I like. And Mario did really well too. Good job. Okay, so. We only have like a day off, so I'll just keep you here. Totch out for four weeks. And fitness concerns. I've been waiting for this. Should I play him for a game? No, there's a chance he comes back for the league final if we make that. Oh, that's... Yeah, Suarez is tired. Neves is tired. Oh, man. Well, you guys get to rest for a day. Congratulations. Oh, this is terrible timing for this to happen. I knew this was going to happen. Well, 
what do we do? Let's just get to the game and then look at fitness levels. San Carlos fired their manager. I think they're in last place. David, nice job. We might start playing David as a midfielder. We might start playing the D mid position. This guy's getting so good. Should we just play the rest of the season like this? David doesn't know this position, though. Start playing Neves as the Mazala. He's already trained the Mazala. Oh, man. We might do it. Because we also have this defensive midfielder support, I think, is what he's on. Figure it out quick. We got some big games coming up. Emmanuel David. Um, we also have Cruz who can play that. He's playing ball winning midfielder. We'll go defensive midfielder. Support. Yeah, we'll see. We'll get to the game and, and see what we can do here. Oh, that's so annoying, though. All right, back to back. Here we go. This is the away game of the semifinal. We've got a record number of wins. Or we're, we could potentially break the record if we win 17 games. Here's the other leg. And Saprisa lost. They're not closing out the season very well. Do you have to make the final, the opening stage or the closing stage to qualify for the Central American Cup next year? Uh, recruitment meeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody coming? I already sold this guy. It's fine. Yeah, we could look at some DMs and goalkeepers, sure. Actually, just scout all these. I'm fine with that. I'm not too picky with my scouting. Well, I know the players that I need. It's pretty easy. It really limits it when you only need five. Or you can only have five foreign players. All right. Uh, we're going to start with Lobos. Penuelas can come on the bench. He's actually going to come in for Alvarez. He can get some rest. Who else needs rest? Everybody. All right, Tosh is out. Neves is dead. We might start Suarez there. Chuck Cruz in. I don't think we're going to start Neves. Mora can play the Mazzella. Kind of. We might start with him. Yeah, he doesn't know it, and he's still mad about learning it, but... Suarez can at least be on the bench. Um, Torres can sit this one. We can actually just take him out entirely. Yara's pretty freaking tired, actually. Oh, man. This is going to be brutal. Um, let's see. Hall on the bench instead of Yo Lopez. Lopez can start this game. We're making a lot of changes. We might have to try and turn this one around if we don't do good. Yeah, Martinez needs a rest. Perez, yeah, you're whatever. Wait, who's why is Gonzalez over here? That's wrong. That should be that should be Hall. And Gonzalez can be on the bench. That's fine. I guess Neves. Rio, Suarez, Gonzo. So only have one defensive player on the bench. Might as well make it. Juan Luis Perez, because he can play left back as well. Dennis Cruz. I don't know if we need Dennis Cruz. Yeah, let's just not play Elton Neves this game. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, Martinez. No, it's fine. 
Alvarez, no, that's fine. We're going with this. God, the team just looks weak. It's just not our best team. We're going to start Salazar, though, because he just scores goals, so... Montenegro hasn't played too good. We'll have words. Chris has recent form. Keep working hard to improve. Okay. Where we're do we change the system up. Yar is dead. People are upset because the best players aren't playing. Because of reasons. But let's see what we can do here. We need to try and make the final. Might even need to win the opening phase to keep our job, which is ridiculous. But hey, expectations are high here at Liga. Youngster coming in. 18-year-old. Yeah, scout him. Marco Reyes, another good youngster. Yeah, his potential is not very high. Jean Carlos, good little youngster left back. And Arguedas, they're playing youngsters. So they're rotating because they have to, obviously. Two, so hopefully that gives us a chance here. Leg two. Attacking free kick. This would be a good start. Hits it, scores it. Anthony Contreras. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Goes goalkeeper side, I think. Yeah. I mean, the goalkeeper's in the middle. I feel like he should be cheating. A little bit to the left, but... I mean... It's about the perfect free kick position, and Contreras makes it pay. And that's a good start. David taking the corner. With the in-swinger. Nice little pass to Yara. Finds Montenegro. Back to Yara. Little pass to Mora. I feel like that was a couple too many passes. I feel like Yara could have taken one. Defensive corner. Headed away. Yara tries to chase it down, but he's too tired. Can somebody take that guy? Torres. Gonzalez rips a shot, but it's over the bar. All right. Just let the boys cook. They know what to do. It's business end of the season. There's some tired, tired boys, but... We know what to do here. Yara lets him slip through, though. Good save. Solis making the hockey goalkeeper save there, getting down. Making sure they don't score at five hole. Sanchez. All right, here we go. Close out. Solis playing it long. Here we go. Send him right through. Oh, you had him. You had the pass. Montenegro, where are you going? You had the pass to Salazar. I don't know why you didn't take it. Because you want to score on your own? Well, if that's what you're going to do, you better put it away. Hits it off the post. Pretty even game. I mean, they have XG's higher for them. Possession's even, too. I don't like that. Here we go. Lifts it up, Puenuelos. Out to Montenegro. Lopez plays it back to Contreras. Really good spot here. What can he find? Ball back to David. Deflects in. Looks like off the defender because David is credited with the goal. It's 2-0. Can we win all five games against Herediano? Excuse me, all four games in a row? against Herediano. I don't care if we win all the games, just as long as we win the aggregates. And we're off to a good start here, even though this game says it's pretty even, but the momentum is all us. And they're not happy. Don't give them a late goal here. Sanchez dribbling in. Shot goes wide. Solis is never bothered by it. He's getting a bit better. He's making more saves. 
he's looking a little bit more reliable. Um, yeah, we can still take charge. Salazar's not playing very good. Should probably rest him, to be honest. We gotta take Yara out, because Yara's gonna have to play a bunch. That should be us. It is. Mora. Contreras plays it out wide. Lopez. Got a couple options here down line. Mora. Can you find a cross in? Plays it back to Yara off the crossbar. Take Salazar off here. I like this little press we're doing here, though. Don't let him. Don't let him get any yardage too easily here. Let's see if we can force a mistake. No, somebody's got to close him down a little bit better. Sanchez dribbles in. This might be a good spot for them if he can find a cross. Plays it back. Jean Carlos rips one from deep, and Solis just seemed rooted to the spot. Didn't seem like he wanted to go out of his way to make that save for some reason, but... Uh, yeah. Rejero. Rejiro. I still don't know how I want to say that guy's name. Who else? We got some anxious players. Anxious energy is... Okay, energy for me. Do you bring Neves in? I think maybe we bring Dennis Cruz in. He can play this position. Not well, but we'll do this. Ball winning midfielder support. Make me proud. Give Yara some rest. A ball over the top. We should be there. Not a good clearance from Lopez, though. They play it back Mora. His shot's not even close, though. Another free kick. Is it Contreras again? Couldn't be two, could it, in one game? Couldn't be. Couldn't be. I think he's scored two this season total, so good time to get one. What substitutions do I want to make? Come on, let's get up three here. Their goalkeeper is completely lost. I'm not sure who missed the header on that one, but defender put him off, I guess, because that was that was an open net opportunity right there. Here we go. Building. Play that square ball, maybe, David. Play another one or just drive in and take a shot and scores it. Emmanuel David from the defensive midfield position. 3 nothing. I was never worried. I was never worried. Look at this little dribble from David. He's so good. Like, he needs to play in the middle of the park, to be honest. This is the position I envisioned him in. And it's good to see that it's working. Even though he doesn't know the role. I also probably prefer a 4-3-3 to a 4-2-3-1. I actually don't know. Those are definitely my two favorite formations. I mean, they're like the basic formations, right? Those and 4-4-2 if you're feeling like you like that kind of action, but... But they're the formations that offer the most amount of... Tactical tweaking, I would say. Look at this Contreras driving, and it earns a penalty, too. Pretty sure he's our penalty taker. He steps up for it. Can we get a 4-0? See our way through to the final right here? It's, it's just gorgeous. I mean, we're, we're just so good. Let's keep this thing going. We might need to pick some people up in the window, though, because we need more depth. 
And that's that's just that's for nothing. I don't know. I don't know what to say. We can just go ahead and do do some of this action. Yeah, drop them in just a little bit. Might take Hall out actually. For Luis Perez, who's more of a you know fullback support kind of guy. I think we actually have him training a center back right now. Um, I mean, Kevin Gonzo, maybe, could come in for David. And then we just go back into this. I mean, it is what it is. It's all about maintaining fitness levels right now. I'll change the formation as many times as I, as I need to. I think there was one game where I changed, I used all three of our formations. The double Trecarista formation, or I don't know if we have double, but two attacking midfielders, two wingers, the 4-1-4-1 formation, and this 4-3-3 and the 4-2-3-1, all in one game. I don't mind, change up the formation. Don't keep things stagnant. That's my recommendation. Even when you're undefeated and look invincible, make a tweak here and there. You see an issue? Fix it. That should be Solis, but he doesn't go for it. He's a, he's a sweeper keeper. He's only 5'11", though, so he, d he just doesn't like to come out for, like, looping crosses like that. I wish he would do that more. Maybe as he gets a bit more experience. We're just going to keep working it here. Keep working it, boys. Can we pick up a fifth? I mean, that'd be fantastic, right? Contreras has played like a beast. Here we go. Cruz. Contreras. Can he find the cross to Rogero? Finds Gonzo instead. Good effort. He's pretty. I think he's like six two or six three. So he he scored with his head a couple times. Praise the boys. We have another sub. Mario. No, not bringing Mario in for a center back. What the heck? What kind of recommendation is that? Contreras can't win it there though. Are they going to grab one? They might do it. Blanco, low down cross, falls through to Sanchez. He's one on one, scores it four to one. Come on, close it out. <laughs> the bicycle kick from the Iranian center back. I haven't seen a bicycle kick score. If you have in this year's FM, let me know. I think it's like an achievement you unlock. After you play like 800 hours, then you you get to see one bicycle kick be scored. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I actually wouldn't be surprised if they coded it into the game like that. I've probably seen four, maybe five attempted. That's gotta be a penalty. Right? The first one was. Thought for sure that one would be, but no, we play on here. Mora can play it out wide. Contreras, what's he going to do? Takes it himself. Need to get Ruggiero a goal. His form's dipped quite a bit. Perez. Wasting time, just like I asked him to do. Going, what's going on here? You gonna do anything or I actually don't mind it. Header, Segura's there. Costa Rican International. And we close it out. Four to one. What was the other contest? Three to one. I forget. 
I just played it. You were here. You saw it. I forget what the score was. Also four to one. Hey, two four to ones. So on the next episode, we've got a chance. On the next two episodes, we've got a chance to win three trophies. So we'll check out the final of the cup against Municipal Grecia. And then the big one is the Central American Cup. Second leg final. And then I might only bring you back in the second leg one if things are looking kind of iffy. But next episode is the chance to win the Central America Cup. That is the objective. So we'll see you at that one. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Adios, muchachos. Catch you later. <laughs>